What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. On today's episode, we're gonna replace a standard TV wall mount with a full motion TV wall mount. We're also gonna attach an Apple TV box to that wall mount to keep it out of the way. So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, the first thing we're gonna do is remove the PlayStation 5, this end table, and then this fireplace. We're gonna need some room to access the TV and all the wiring. And don't freak out, we have a wiring disaster. <laughs> As you can see, we have a big mess back here and I'm gonna clean this all up too. So you'll see that as well, some more organization. I just went ahead and uh, connected all these together for the PlayStation so I wouldn't get these mixed up. Everything's plugged in here. I'm probably gonna unplug everything and start over. But first thing we gotta do is get this TV off the wall. So the first thing you wanna do is unplug all the wires from the TV. And it's probably a good idea to have someone else help me take the TV off the wall. Unfortunately, I didn't. All right guys, this is pretty easy. Ratchet, we're just gonna go ahead and take these out and then we'll install the new full motion TV mount. I'm gonna install it a little bit higher, so maybe about an inch higher because I want the TV to clear this fireplace. We're gonna get a new TV eventually, probably 85 inch. I don't want the 85 inch to hang too close to this fireplace, so we're gonna mount it a little higher for the new TV mount. So remember, the height of your wall mount will vary depending on your situation. If we didn't have this fireplace, I wouldn't change the height at all. And I recommend using a ratchet to remove these lag bolts. It's quick and easy. And guys, don't forget, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. And hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Okay, now that we've removed the old bracket, let's take a look at the new bracket. And this new bracket retails for $139.99. Here's the user manual a vertical TV bracket, and two horizontal TV brackets, and many different size bolts and washers, and an Allen wrench, and the wall mount bracket, and the bracket that allows for full motion, and two plastic trim pieces. And this is a quick install guide. Pretty cool. And this full motion wall mount bracket will handle a 90 inch TV, and that's great. All right, so this is everything you get with this full motion TV wall mount. So first thing we're going to do is mount the bracket to the wall. And then once we're done mounting the bracket to the wall, we'll mount the bracket to the TV and then hang the TV on the wall mount. The two most important things to remember when installing a TV wall mount is first, make sure it's level. You don't want a crooked wall mount. And second, you need to secure this wall mount to studs. Do not use drywall anchors. And trust me, the last thing you want to see is your brand new TV falling down to the floor where it would definitely break and would possibly hurt somebody. So use a stud finder to find your studs and then mark your hole locations. The next drill. I like to start out with a small drill bit and then go to the larger bit. And make sure the hole's not too big. The lag bolt needs to go in tightly. Now at this point, you wanna go ahead and start threading your lag bolts into all four holes. Make sure to use a washer as well. And just a heads up, don't completely tighten these bolts until you get all four bolts in, mostly all the way. Then you can go ahead and tighten them fully. And double check for level just to make sure things level before you do the final tightening. And I wanna encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, I do a personal shout out in the very next video. So now at this point, we can go ahead and tighten the bolts down fully. Make sure each bolt is tight as possible. There should be no movement in the bolt. So before we go any further with this TV wall mount, let's go ahead and organize these wires. We have one Cat6 wire and four HDMI wires and one outlet for power. So now let's get this mess organized. So for instance, this switch, I'm gonna mount it to the wall right here. And on the back of this TP-Link switch, there's two mounting holes right here. And by mounting it right here, it keeps it out of the way and off the floor. So first, go ahead and measure between the two mounting holes. And it's almost four inches, like minus an eighth of an inch. Then next, we'll go ahead and drill holes in the wall. 
add two drywall anchors, two screws, and then hang the TP-Link switch onto the screws. Looks great. We'll go ahead and plug the power into the switch, and then connect all the Cat6 wires to the switch. And any extra Cat6 wires, I'm going to stuff it back into the wall, and leave only enough wire to plug into the switch. It'll look nice and neat. And I'll go ahead and mount this HDMI extender with double-sided sticky tape. Once again, this keeps it off the floor and out of the way. And for this TV mount, we're going to use four HDMI cables. One to the Apple TV, one to the PlayStation 5, one to our HDMI extender for our security cameras, and one to our karaoke machine. Now it's time to remove the old bracket from the TV. It's just four screws. All right guys, so we're gonna catch it like this. And I'm gonna, you wanna center it like that. You don't want it to be like this or something. So make sure it's like that. You have a bolt, washer, and you're just gonna feed it with your hand, your hand tight. Now this TV mount kit comes with multiple bolts and screws and washers for different size TVs. So just find the one that works, that works for you. I've done a lot of these probably dozens of TV mounts, so I'm pretty familiar with different sizes and what usually works. And, that. and then after you get centered, so that, and, and tighten. Don't use a cordless drill. It tells you that in instructions. There you go, ain't going anywhere. Next, you need to attach this vertical mounting bracket with four screws. And I have to be honest, these screws were hard to get in. At least the bottom two were hard. The top two went in pretty easy. So make sure to take your time, don't get frustrated. Once again, make sure these are super tight. Now it's time to hang the adjustable bracket. Start by putting the top in first, and then push the bottom in like that. Next, make sure that adjustable bracket is centered. And once again, you're going to need to attach this with four screws and four washers. And to be completely honest with you, this was kind of difficult. Especially the bottom two screws. It was pretty difficult to line up those two screws at the bottom. So be patient. And make sure all four screws are very tight. Now's the fun part. It's time to hang the TV. And once again, I recommend having some help doing this. Four hands are better than two. And there's one screw you need to attach from the bracket from the TV to the wall bracket. And where that screw attaches, it allows you to make adjustments to the TV horizontally. And these are the last two pieces to put onto the wall mount. They're more of a decorative piece. It gives it a finished look. They simply snap on. Easy. All right guys, now we're all done mounting the wall bracket and the TV. And right here, this is how the TV connects to the mount. Now it's time to make everything look pretty and then attach the Apple TV to the wall mount. We're almost done. All right, you can see I zip tied the HDMI cables as well as the ethernet cable. I also connected the TV power cord to the bracket with the zip tie. Looks good. And here's where the Apple TV will go. I've already connected two zip ties to the bracket, making two loops. Now I'll put the Apple TV inside those loops and then tighten it. Okay, the Apple TV is now inside the two loops. I'll make a minor adjustment and then tighten the zip ties. And there we go, it's secure and it's not going anywhere. And now I plugged in the power, the ethernet cable, and the HDMI cable. 
Everything looks great and organized. The wires are all tidy and put away where you can't see them. And I can't believe that we're all done. Everything looks organized. The switch and the HDMI extender are now out of the way and mounted to the wall. We have way less ethernet cables in the way. Everything's really tidy and neat. And now the last thing I'm gonna do is plug my PS5 into this HDMI cable, get it all set up and start playing some games. So guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching. And I wanna encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it.